Ben Betterson was stationed with the Army at the Manhattan Project's military headquarters in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, before being transferred to Los Alamos. There, he worked on triggers and detonators for the bomb codenamed Fat Man. As soon as I was given clearance, probably within a week of giving clearance, I was called to a meeting. I was told everything. I was very excited by that. I knew that I was going to help end the war. The job I was given was to design the triggers on the implosion bomb. The first bomb was a simple bomb, a crude bomb. It just banged one thing into another like that, uh, the Hiroshima bomb. The second bomb was a sophisticated bomb that I worked on, the implosion bomb, where the plutonium compressed and formed the critical mass and exploded that way. And the whole idea was to, was to have ordinary explosives around an entire sphere of plutonium that, that all exploded inward and did like that. And so that caused a, a, a uniform compression. So I helped design the switches that would operate simultaneously that would ignite the explosives around the whole bomb. By simultaneous, you'll mean something of the order of microseconds. The United States was the only nation with the resources to pursue the development of the technically sophisticated implosion bomb alongside the less complicated gun barrel type bomb. Being able to pursue both options at once while other nations had to choose only one allowed the United States to be the first to build a working bomb. 